Well, I have a big and exciting project for today. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. We finally have the means and the ability to do it. It should be a really cool project. It should be a cool like end result. Uh, surprisingly though, it's not to do with the cars. So we're not working on the Sephiro or any other projects. And it's not to do with the shop itself. Now we do have plenty of shop projects that we need to do and it's killing me to not enjoy working in the shop now that I've got it set up and to not be upgrading it more and more. But this is something, again, that's been on the to-do list for a while. We finally have the right place for it. <sighs> Should be real satisfying. Let me show you. So what we're doing today is setting up my dream office space. So I've always had my office and my bedroom as one unit and it's always tricky because you gotta fit a bed, all your normal stuff, clothes, dresser. It really limits you as far as setup. Whereas now that we have an entire room to set up, we also have a really big closet, but that, that's a project for another day. For now, we're focused on the room itself. So I've got everything cleared out of here. All the totes and totes of office stuff, sim stuff, 3D printer, all that stuff. I got it out of the way. And we got a bunch of stuff in to go in the office and set it up as essentially like my dream office. I'm really excited for this. I think it's gonna turn out really cool. So uh, let's dive in. This thing weighs like a million pounds. So I think first up we'll knock out the desk. Because once we get the desk set up, we can put it where it goes, which is over here, get the computer stuff on it, and then we'll have a lot more room to work with. So this is originally what I got as a desk. It's actually a workbench, uh, but it's got this really nice solid wood top. It's, it's very solid and sturdy, which is what I was going for. However, it is not deep enough. It is way too shallow. I like a really deep desk. This one is not deep at all. Now I could wall mount the monitors and yada yada, but I wanted a workbench in here anyway. So we are gonna retain this, but we'll get to that later. First up, we need to set up our new desk and hope it's uh, hope it's what we're looking for. I did see some other good options after I ordered this one. So I just wanna make sure I have the right desk. I don't wanna make a compromise. I want, I want the right desk. So anyway, enough jibber jabbering. Let's get to work. Let's get this thing out. It is heavy. It's like 80 pounds. Hopefully that means it's sturdy. We've got this net, which is going to be for all of our cords. This is just to keep all your cords tucked up and then dump them out on one spot. All right, we can flip her over now. It's pretty sturdy, boys. All right. Did I make this one too high? No, it's about right. I gotta move that desk out of the way, and then we can move this desk into position and put all the stuff on it. I make it too high though. No, that's about right. Can I always go up on this, Johnny? Yeah, I'm good with it. Here's our new desk. Now we just gotta get everything set up on it. 
I like it though, it looks, it looks clean. That's what I was going for. I originally wanted to go with this style of desk, but the only ones I can find are like red and dragon and all this like super corny over the top stuff. And I wanted one that was simple. Um, so this one being all black, I was like, yes. So I'm excited. It seems pretty sturdy. Um, let's get all this stuff on it. The old snapperuski. Okay, so number one, I had the mouse pad upside down, but we got it all on and sorted. Oh, it looks nice. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it in comparison to like a nice wood wood top, but it is clean. I like it. Everything fits good. We got room for days, which is what I was looking for. I think we're good, boys. All right, Sandy came by. She's checking out some of the other stuff we got, quality control, and she made sure that we got the desk all put up correctly. Uh, she said it's uh, super solid. Ready to rip tater chip were actually her exact words. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. It's kind of what I was going for shape and size wise. I like the full surface mouse pad. It matches the computer and the sim setup. Like it all kind of works together. So I'm happy with it. Um, definitely finally a suitable desk. <laughs> that was, it was a bit of a struggle to decide. Anyway, moving on to this side of the room. Still gotta set up the sim, but that's, that's for later. This side of the room, we have the workbench. I'm trying to decide how I wanna do this. Originally, I was gonna have it all the way to the left here. I was gonna put a chair with an ottoman here and have like a nice chill spot. Maybe put my TV up there so like when I'm playing the sim in VR, someone could watch the TV and chill there, but I miscalculated. <laughs> There's clearly not enough room in this corner for many chairs. You could fit a chair there, not ideal. The main goal for this is to get all all this ancillary stuff off of my desk before I had my chargers, my cables, my cameras, my camera mounts. I had all of that stuff on my desk. So the desk, no matter what, was super cluttered. The goal is to keep the desk like this. Not have any freaking clutter on here, have it just nice, simple, very, very minimal stuff on here. So to do that, we need another space to put it. And that is gonna be here slash here. So <sighs> enough jibber jabber on, let's get to work. I was like, worst case, I'll use this in the garage. Oh, it's gonna be like the perfect one. Just a tiny bit longer than the table. All right, moment of truth. Is the Amazon stud finder correct? Now I gotta figure out if I wanna leave just that small spot of pegboard or do a whole other row. I like the idea of like the whole wall being pegboard. I think that'll look cool, but I also probably don't have enough stuff I need to hang on it. I mean, maybe. The other option is to put nothing up there or put something like my clutch kickers check. You know, like that. All right, I've decided I'm doing it. I wanted a pegboard wall. I'm doing a freaking pegboard wall. All right, we got it done. We have our pegboard wall. I dig it. I like it. All right, well, I've used the space a little bit and I am super happy with the setup in here. I really like the desk. I like how clean it all looks. Oh. Anyway, it's time to deal with this. So I do want to raise this up just a little bit and then just kind of keep most of the stuff within the pegboard. One annoying thing about the pegboard, so I got this plastic pegboard on Amazon uh, and it's pretty solid, but it's a little wavy. So you can see we're touching there not touching up there, not touching down here, touching here, touching here, not touching here. So anyway, it ended up with it sticking out a little bit on this side, which drives me nuts, but I'm trying, I'm trying to ignore it. 
I'm trying to ignore it because there's just no way around it. I mean, they're butted up against each other all the way across. It starts dead even over here. It's just, you know, the little bit of warpage all the way down caused that. So anyway, let's uh, start the satisfying part of hanging everything on the wall here. It's gonna, whew, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good. Good with it. Waist height, good work height. All right, so we have a whole box of different pegboard components, such as little buckets, hooks, and other hooks, and bigger hooks. Um, so this should get us started. I'll, I'll, my goal is to get to design some different stuff for different things that we'll have, you know, like some of my cameras and things like that. Uh, but for now, we can get a lot of stuff hung up with these. Now we gotta clutter this place back up a little bit and start bringing totes in here and figuring out what we wanna put up there. We'll start with the basics first. First thing I wanna hang up here is my battery charger for my main camera. So, the only real way to do this, oh man, this is gonna be tough, isn't it? Need a pick. Oh, no, we got it. Got our flush cut. Boom, one thing down, I'll have to do some cording. It'll go down there, something like that. But uh, I'll probably do like a power shirt, bolt it to the bottom of this, try to keep the cables nice. But this is nice. Sweet, okay. Next up, side here we can do a little cubby for extra batteries and stuff. All right, I got all the different hooks organized. You know, just so when we find something that works, we can find its matching companion and we know how many we have of each, you know. I have a problem, okay? Anyway, <laughs> we need to keep mounting stuff. So next up is you. Let's see how we can mount you. So I'm thinking a couple of these long guys, maybe. Let's try that. Nope, no, that's not working. I guess we gotta try these. I guess I'm, gonna, I mean, I'm probably gonna have to just get a bunch of this kind of thing. Oh, that's still kind of sketchy. Okay, there we go. Need them to be a little closer together. All right, so here's what we've got so far. We've got my main camera, the charger for it, these two little bins. So, you know, this is like lens caps, spare batteries, and then all my lenses for it right here. Very satisfying. Like it just looks so good to have it all just on the wall there. So we're gonna leave a little bit of room here. I mean, we don't have to keep it in one spot, but I, I don't know. I just figured it was better to kind of keep them in sections. So this will be my action camera section. And I don't know, I don't know from there. From that camera, my action camera, like I don't really have a plan, but either way. Got this much hung up, it looks good. I'm really, really happy with it. It's exactly, you know, what I was going for, so. Sweet, all right, well, I'm gonna keep on trucking here. But here's where we're at. I've got the normal change lens camera, whatever you want to call it, my Sony uh, side here. And then we got the action camera here plus the drone. So basically I've got, you know, camera, charger, so I got little wind muffs and dovetails for tripods. And then I've got all my different lenses. I've got this rotating time-lapse deal. My cage for this camera that I never really use. And then on this side, we've got, this is where you go, right here. And then we've got my other Sony action cam waterproof case, other little mount holder deal, magnetic mount, drone drone controller, drone battery. So I do need to put a charger for these cameras here and I need to do one, like run the cord up here for to charge these batteries as well so everything can just stay on here at all times. That's the goal at least. Uh, but here I've got my batteries, I've got mounts, got little screw deals for the mounts and then the plastic clip-in deals with the double-sided tape. So I'm trying to leave this a little open for room for expansion. You'll always get more stuff. Maybe I'll get another Sony action cam and then I'll get this and that and I'll need more room up here. But yeah, anyway, 
super, super happy with it. It's so satisfying. Like it is every bit as satisfying as I hoped it would. Tedious to try to find the right stuff for everything and get it all set up. Very satisfying. Like I said, it's exactly what I hoped and dreamed it would be. So anyway, enough jibber jabber and let's uh, get back to work. I'll put you guys back in your spot. We'll keep trucking. Okay, that doesn't take up quite as much space as I thought it would. That's good. Definitely something we want to leave room to expand. And then here we'll do like some tools and bits and pieces that go along with the 3D printer. All right, next thing up, these are kind of, oh, sorry about that, kicked you. These are kind of gonna be temporary up here. I'd like to make a specific wall mount for them. I'm gonna have to mount them side by side. These are for my sim rig, so they're quick connect. This is my drift wheel, that's like my road race one. Uh, so I can 3D print like a deal that bolts onto the wall and then you put it on with the quick connect. But uh, we gotta get the 3D printer fixed up for that. So for right now, we can just put them up here. We got the room. Put the little springs on them. Little solo guys. All right, it is semi done. There's still a little bit to do, but take a gander. Boom, you walk in. I gotta figure out what to do with that lamp. I just realized that desk looking solid. Computer down there. I put my uh, microphone up here. Still gotta set up the sim. There's just a lot of running wires back and forth that has to be done with that. Got my tools ready to go back in the shop. And then boom, pegboard looks solid. I've got my Oculus Touch controllers, my Xbox controller for the PC. Um, some headphones, 3D print stuff, 3D print tools starting here, some cords, camera stuff, my microphone, sim wheels, like it looks so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. This is something I wanted to do for a very, very long time. So I'm glad to uh, have it all set up in here. It's, it's just a nice way to store things without them just getting lost forever. So I do still need to get like a cabinet or something to go under here to store stuff that can get lost for a little while, but uh, it's pretty much, it's pretty well there. And then obviously we gotta hang stuff like the big check. I've got my proximity poster. My YouTube thing needs to go up somewhere. So there's still stuff to do, but pegboard is mostly done. Like I said, we'll definitely be adding on to this as we get more stuff that needs to be accessed right away. But for now, this is kind of what we have. And yeah, so anyway, you get the idea. Looking snazzy. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's gonna end it for today's video. We're gonna be heading to the Freedom Factory tomorrow for the 2.4 hours of blade mullets. And uh, I've gotta get everything ready and get headed down there. Otherwise I would finish this up for this video, but we're out of time, boys. We're out of time. So sorry to leave you on a, a half finished hanger like that, but uh, hey. It happens. It's in the name of racing. So anyway, hope to see you guys for that. But for now, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.